Hey everyone, it's Julian here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do 808 slides in FL Studio. I actually made an Ableton tutorial on this, but it's a little bit more complicated in FL Studio, so I wanted to make one to show you how to do it. And yeah, here we go. So to start off with, I have this 808 loaded up. It's just a spins 808. Pretty simple. Um, and the first thing you want to do to be able to do a slide with this is you're going to want to go into the, uh, into the miscellaneous functions here and change this polyphony thing here to mono and then set the max to one. So what this is going to do is it's basically going to tell the synth or the sampler that it can only play one voice at once. Um, and then having the slide here is going to make the notes slide from each other up and down. Um, next thing you're going to want to do is go into your piano roll and I'm just going to make a quick um, octave slide here. What we're going to do is we're going to put in two notes and the first one is going to be you're going to double click on it and you're going to set it to this portamento mode and then on the second one the higher one or whichever one you want to slide to basically you're going to double click it and put it on this slide mode and now what will happen is if we play these two together they're going to slide between each other there we go it's as simple as that you just have to do that and actually if you want to do it even faster you don't have to go into the like note properties you can actually just click on these up here and essentially whichever one is this color is the one that you will write with so like i have right now i have the portamento one is highlighted and if i click a note you can see it's a portamento note now if i unclick that and then click on the slide one and we click in a note there we go, it's a slide note. So it's kind of like a quicker way to do it. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Make sure to let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Maybe even share the video if it really helped you out. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with another tutorial.